Supporting language and literacy growth in children who are deaf or hard of hearing. Book sharing strategies. Using questioning to build comprehension. Early literacy development initiative. Hello, I am Joseph Ryan. I go by JJ. Hello there. My name is Jacqueline Turka. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about some concepts that will help parents improve their reading with their child. While you're reading with your child, it's very important to ask questions uh, before you actually read the book and during the story in the middle of the book and then after you've completed the book. How can you ask predicting questions? to your child. Most parents, when they do get a book, or a bunch of books, the best thing for them to do is to read it and come up with questions. Let me give you an example. What is the book about? Think about that idea. And what the author will comment on. And who is the book for? Who is the audience? While you're reading, ask your child what might happen next so the child can try to predict that. And then you can actually read what comes up next and does it go with what your child thought would happen or is it way off? It just keeps them interested and makes them creative. Sometimes it matches and sometimes it does not. It encourages them to stretch their brains and it encourages them to read as well. You could ask your child what they see on the cover here. Ask them what they're doing on the cover here. There's different animals here. Um, you can kind of predict what animals might come up next. Ask them what this is. Strategies in action before reading. Here's the author. And I think the cat's name is Splat. What do you think the book's about based on the cover? What do you think it, it's all about? See the cover here? What do you think this is? I don't know. Come on, take a guess. Hmm. Let's see. Think about it. I think they're going to be going to the mountains. So they're going to go to the mountains. Who's going to the mountains? The horse? Is the horse going alone? I don't know. She is. What, what is that? It's a girl. Oh, so the little girl. Kind of like you? Maybe. You've been on a horse before and flown around? No, come on, use your imagination. You can do it. Okay, so what do you think is going to happen in the book? What do you think is going to happen? I think they're going to fly. Yeah, we know they're going to the mountain. Oh, they're going to fly around. Uh, there's, gonna, there's ice. Mm -hmm. It's going to be cold. And they fly around. The girl's looking below her, and she's cold. And they fly around. They see a cave. They see different things. Okay, let's see if your prediction is right. We shall see. What do you think is going to happen in this book? Uh, they're going to go for a ride in their car? Look at the title. You see that? Quick, quick. Quick as a cricket. Look at the picture here. See how quick that cricket is? Same as him. This baby bird goes around and asks all these different animals, are you my mother? Are you my mother? So he asks all these animals, who's the baby bird's mom? Who's the baby bird's mother? Is it the dog? Is the dog the mom? No, no, of course not. Who's the baby bird's mother? Is it you? No. Is it the dog? The dog is the bird's mother? No. Well, maybe it's a big mama bird. Perhaps. Questioning during and after reading. Now, in the middle of the story, ask questions like, what do you think will happen next? Ask some predicting questions. Have them kind of figure out what might happen next. If they're not understanding a word, have them try to figure out what the word means using the picture. You can ask the child. If you're not understanding what the word is, look at the picture. Uh, at the end of the book, you could ask the child, uh, did you, what did you like about the book? 
or and what didn't you like about the book and why? So that's the three parts. Um, and those are different examples of the types of questions you can ask your child while you're reading. Strategies in action, questioning during and after reading. See the birdie walking out in the limb? What do you think is going to happen? What do you think? Are they going to fly away? They're going to fall. They could fall. I think you're right. Let's see. <gasps> you were right. The birdie fell out of the tree. And the birdie fell to the ground. What do you think happened when he hit the ground? Did he hit the ground hard? Mm-hmm. Where? Where's the mother bird? Right there? The mother is not there. The mother left. See on the page before? The mother left the nest and now the birdie's all alone in the nest. Hmm. Poor birdie's all alone. The birdie's saying, where's my mother? Where's my mother? And the birdie starts looking for his mom. What do you think's going to happen next? Look at this picture here. What's happening here? They dove off into the water and start swimming around. Uh huh. Okay. What? Do, okay. What? Are, what are they looking for? Oh, they're looking for that. That. Mm hmm. What do we have here? What's that? A spider? A spider? Hmm. A bug? Looks like it's a crab. Are you like other cats? Splat said, yes, I am. That's amazing, Mrs. Whipple said. She's the teacher. What can cats do? They can climb trees. See here? They drink milk. And they chase mice. That's what cats do. Splat asks, why do cats chase mice? Why? Why do cats chase mice? Why do, what do you think? Um, um, I don't know. They chase mice. Be well, why? Why do they chase mice? You know what? Cats just want to chase mice so they can eat them. Maybe. You think that's why? I don't know. <gasps> what is this? It's a whale. No, 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 here, to the right of the whale. Is that a whale? This here, is that a whale? <gasps> what do you think will happen next? Let's see. Oh, boy. Oh, what do you see? Bassett? Bassett? It's a bird. So let me ask you, do you think they're good friends? What do you think? Yes, I do. Why do you think they're good friends? Well, they helped uh, the horse and the girl pull the moon. Okay, so they help each other. They work together. Okay, yes, they work together. Do you think the girl is scared? No, no. Do you think the horse is scared? No. What do you think they're feeling right now? I think they're feeling happy. Did you like the book? What did you think of this book? The girl rides the horse. And there's the moon and the sunset. And the horse runs on the ground and makes their way up. And they have to pull the moon. And then they set it free. And they fly back home to the backyard. And then she runs into her home. Practice using questioning strategies before, during, and after reading. This has been a production of the Colorado School for the Deaf and the Blind, 33 North Institute Street, Colorado Springs, Colorado, 80903, 719-578-2100, www.csdb.org. Videography by Deb Branch, copyright CSDB. Special thanks to J.J. Ryan, Jacqueline Turka, Diana Covell, Cody Karekas. Production collaboration, Dana Ryan, Susie Broderick, Dr. Laura Douglas. Narration, Marcy Murphy. Captioning, Bonnie Otmar.